Hello traders, this is Dollar Will. Uh, I'm just going to do a real short video to get us ready for uh, Monday. Um, of course, I'm always triangulating the dollar as it relates to gold and, and I'm going to be talking about oil a little later on. Um, the dollar is gaining strength, hasn't really broken out definitively yet, not clear enough, but in advance of that breakout, gold has been falling. There's a little mystery, mystery involving gold in terms of exactly what this wave count is. Uh, what you see on the chart here is we have a seven day. I like to break things down, of course, over long periods of time so I can uh, slow these oscillators down. Okay, and it also makes the, uh, the chart easy to read. So what I'm looking at is a, uh, a set of bars on a seven day chart. Uh, this is where gold started the decline back in uh, September of 2011. I'm using my Fibonacci extension tool to mark this 100% line. You see the price came up pretty neatly to that uh, magical 61.8 uh, resistance there. So the high was back in July of 2016. We approached it again in September of uh, 2017. Had a decline to December. And then made a new high relative to that uh, July high. Let's see. Made a high in uh, the 26th of January relative to the September high uh 2017 high but we did not take out the july high we have a trend line here uh, a support line here now uh we'll we'll deal with this on a smaller time frame I'll, I'll explain how I like that the confusion is what the heck is this while it's very clear in terms of Elliott wave analysis Elliott wave is supposed to be an a B and a C down wave. Well, this is the end of the A wave. Uh, uh, this peak here in July of 2016, that would be the end of the B wave and the start of the C. But typically, the C wave starts down going south pretty quickly. But it didn't do that this time. But we're still over, uh, overbought. Let me show you on a, just to make matters take it to the ridiculous extreme on this quarterly chart we got the low here 2016 the stochastic is showing us ABC we're in overbought territory even when you look at it on a quarterly chart on a quarterly each one of these bars is uh, three months worth of information so it's what's strange is the highest here but the, but the stochastic has not flipped yet. Um, but we seem like we're going down. Let's assume that, and this is a big assumption, that gold is uh, going south. How far south will it fall? Let's see. First, let me show you why, why I say it's going south. Let's, let me go to a today. You have to combine this with the information of, about the dollar and the projection about where the dollar is going to go and and even with what the euro is doing. We have a clear violation of the trend line here. The trend that started in December. Gold is definitely going south. You have uh, stochastic was oversold at this point. And now it's overbought and heading south. So there's no question that we're heading south. We're going to continue to fall south until this oscillator, in, in, in this case, this olive color line, crosses above this blue-gray looking line. So I believe that we're going below this trend line. I believe we're going below this low. But I don't know that. I believe we're going below this low. 
from December, uh, let's just say 13 months ago, almost 14 months ago. I believe we're going below that low, but we'll see. Back to the confusion, let's see, on the seven-day chart. Now, I've been talking around this big red line in the middle of the screen. What that is, is a, uh, there was a price peak in 1980 in gold of $850. And I'm calling that wave one. After wave one, of course, it fell. That would be wave two. And then, as I'm always talking about, wave three is the biggest, most profitable wave. According to my count, wave three ended right here in 2011. So wave three, I think, started, it might have started like in 1998 or something like that. So wave two, after that peak uh, to 850, nobody cared about gold. For almost 20 years, gold fell into its wave two and was in a decline from like 1980 to like 1998. Nobody talked about it. It wasn't on the news. It wasn't the main thing to buy. The 90s came along and everybody was buying internet stocks. Internet, st internet stocks was the thing to buy. Okay? And so nobody was talking about gold. And when the internet bubble burst, money rotated to this forgotten thing that, that had been languishing for 20 years. Gold. And then gold took off. All right. According to Elliott Wave Theory, so if this was Wave 3, that, that means that we're now in Wave 4. All this is Wave 4. The rule in Elliott Wave Theory is that Wave 4 cannot encroach over Wave 1. So if the peak of Wave 1 is here, Wave 4 can't end below Wave 1. If this comes down below here, then that means that this $850, $850 uh, level in, in 1980 was not wave one. And then I have to figure out exactly where, we're, where we are, and I would be a little confused at that point. Um, but still, all of the oscillators say we're heading lower. Now, it is possible that we could come low and not hit wave, go to $900 or something, and not hit $850. And that would, you know, maintain my, uh, my, my, my theory that this is a wave four and that we go higher. So, but until then, I'm just relying purely on the oscillators, trading purely on the oscillators. So while uh, gold is falling, I'm just playing it as it goes, playing it by ear. And so... It goes. So that's uh, my view of gold. Keep a lookout. Uh, how again? The the only way to really kind of stay focused on on or refine your your uh, I guess projection on what's going to happen is you have to take a look at uh, the U.S. dollar because they trade more or less uh, opposite each other. So stay tuned to this channel for more information as these trends develop. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, next up, uh, I will be doing um, a chart on the Dow, talking about this huge drop we had on Friday, show you what's going on there. I'm going to drill in and show you, show you the sectors. I'm going to take a longer range view about where the money is likely to go. And you will be, of course, it will come as no surprise to you that what we're looking at here with gold versus the dollar relates to what's going on with the Dow and how money is, uh, where money is uh, likely to flow next. So until next time, this is Dollar Will.